In this video, I'm going to show you all the best videos on YouTube for doing bedside procedures, including a central line, arterial line, lumbar puncture, and paracentesis. These procedures can be very difficult when you first attempt them, and having these really solid videos to help you visualize the process and what you're actually doing is key to your success uh, early on in turn year. And so highly, highly recommend you check out all of these videos. So the first video is uh, one that's made by these people from Behind the Knife, the surgery podcast. This first one is really just a primer on getting ultrasound guided access. What I really like is that in this video, they really demonstrate uh, the way to advance the needle along with your ultrasound probe. And they are calling this the creep method. So what you do is you advance it until you see the needle tip. Then you're gonna move your ultrasound pr probe after that until the needle tip disappears. And then you're gonna advance your needle slightly more again until your needle pip tip reappears into the view. And a lot of times when people are looking for their needle tip, they just look on the screen and they're like, I don't see it. But really the key is that you need to move your ultrasound probe in order to follow the needle tip down to the, uh, to the vessel. So I think this is a very, very helpful um, video for you guys. Uh, for additional review, uh, I really like this video. I think this one really gives you a nice graphical depiction of this whole process and how you're supposed to advance the needle and then advance your probe and then advance your needle and then advance your probe. And I like that it comes from this, you know, uh, lateral view here so you can really visualize what's going on and then what the corresponding image on your ultrasound is going to look like. So again, this one is ultrasound guided arterial line insertion from Practical Anesthesia Techniques, a very, very useful video. And then here they actually do it on a a real patient and again super super helpful because they show you the ultrasound image in real time while they explain to you that whole process uh, in the lateral view and so this gives you a really good visualization of, of what the process should look like you can see the uh, tip was a little bit medial and then uh, they redirected it until it was over the artery and then they advanced it once they got the bullseye sign then they advanced they moved their probe away until the tip kind of disappeared and then they advanced it a little bit further to really make sure they're in that artery and that's a huge thing for these a lines is you really want to make sure it's very very solidly inside the artery you don't want to just like immediately get flash and then just start threading it um, i've had so so much more success when i've actually visualized the uh, needle going into the artery and then advancing it several steps more to make sure it's really kind of secure in there before I advance the catheter. The next video that you absolutely need to watch is this easy central line placement, also by the same people from Behind the Knife Surgery Podcast. And this video, honestly, they have such good production value, but it's just so such a well-explained video. This is the number one video that you need to watch before you attempt central lines. And so they start with things like positioning, landmarks, and then just going over the equipment that you're going to be using, and then just prepping your equipment, and then going through the steps. Uh, it's just in such a clear fashion and honestly um this is this is the be this, this is a perfect central line video and so i highly recommend you watch this i think every single intern needs to watch this video before they attempt their first cent central line what i really like about their video also is that they go through a lot of safety steps a lot of troubleshooting uh and then tips for making sure that you don't make a mistake or accidentally cannulate the um, carotid artery, for example. Next, we're gonna move on to arterial line, and surprise, surprise, it's another video by Behind the Knife. Trust me, this is the last one, but um, it's not, this is just not a video that's just like all, you know, recommending you watch their videos. But honestly, the stuff they made is really, really good. And so here again, they're going to demonstrate uh, going in and then finding the needle going in until you get a uh, flashback and then kind of advancing the guide wire and then threading the catheter over that. And uh, again, what I really like about this video is that they're going to go through a little bit of troubleshooting techniques as well which um, again are going to help out a lot because uh, radial arteries is actually um, it, radio a lines are actually one of the most common procedures that you're going to have run into troubleshooting issues that you know blood stops returning or you backwalled the artery or something so this is uh, honestly a very excellent uh, video for you to review another one on ultrasound guided arterial line placement and i like this one um, it's by adam collins and this one was great because it has this troubleshooting section as well. And so uh, I just love the uh, depictions here. So this is what it should normally look like. And then you thread the catheter and then you should get, you know, good blood return. But for example, if you, um, you know, you immediately got flashed and then you tried to thread the catheter, look what's going to happen. You're just going to push the artery away and you're going to totally lose um, the, the line that you were just about to get, you just need to go a slightly little bit deeper in order to get that in the correct position like this. 
So this one is if you back wall the artery, this shows you kind of what's going to happen. So back wall the artery, they went a little bit too far and then blood return stops. And so in order to get uh, blood return back, they have to kind of retract the whole apparatus and then they get blood return back. Uh, after they went too far, and then they can advance the catheter after that. So another great troubleshooting video. Now let's start moving on to paracentesis. Uh, really only one rec one big video to recommend in this one, and that's going to be the New England Journal of Medicine uh, video on paracentesis. It goes through all the contraindications, the indications, uh, the equipment that you're going to be using, and they have some great uh, depictions of the anatomy. I think this is 100% the best uh, paracentesis video that you can find on YouTube, even though it is old, and you can see that the quality is very old and it's an older video, but um, really uh, it covers all the points that you need to know for paracentesis and it's a relatively simple procedure, uh, but this one really covers everything. So this is all you need. Now let's move on to our last procedure and that's going to be lumbar puncture. And uh, I have three videos that I like for this one. Lumbar puncture is one of the more difficult procedures just because it's blind. So you really have to have a good understanding of the landmarks. And I really like this video uh, by Hippo Education, Lumbar Puncture Anatomy. And this one really gives you a good sense of the anatomy because they just do it on like a skeleton and so it really helps you visualize the angles that you need to go in in order to actually get into the um, intrathecal space. And so here you're uh, seeing him demonstrate what happens if you're going a little too shallow and then how you're gonna have to pull back and then redirect a little bit more um, uh, you know angle it more superiorly in order to get into that space uh, and then Really, he goes over all the landmarks that you're going to need to know, the iliac crest being at the level of L4, and then you can go in at L3 to L4 or L4 to L5. Um, and so just overall fantastic video. Um, and having the vertebra, you know, visualized like this is really helpful. But then obviously you want to see it on a real life patient as well. And so I found this really good video from EM Rap Productions. And uh, they do it on a dummy, but also on a real patient as well. And a uh, very helpful video for you to just go through all the steps of doing the lumbar puncture in terms of prep and then uh, numbing the patient up and then actually doing the procedure itself and then checking the opening pressure and things like that. Finally, another video, if you are interested in just watching some more examples, is going to be this New England Journal of Medicine lumbar puncture video. So again, another excellent video by them. And uh, I really like it as well, just like the paracentesis video. Um, just really goes through all of the anatomy really greatly and uh, all the preparation and everything, and also even like some troubleshooting stuff. So uh, another fantastic video by New England Journal of Medicine. So really, um, yeah, I got to say, these are my top, top videos for you to watch before any bedside procedures. And uh, I, I'm going to leave all the links down in the description down below. Honestly, I felt no need to make any of these videos because they were such fantastic videos and guides and tutorials that are already on YouTube available for you guys to use right now. And watching these videos, uh, you know, prepping and just being mentally ready for when you are going to do these procedures is really going to be helpful and give you a lot more confidence before you do your first lumbar puncture or paracentesis or A-line or central line. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's really going to help if you watch these videos and you have that confidence to seek out these procedures. You know, as soon as an opportunity arises, I think you should go and do it as much as possible so you can get comfortable doing these procedures. Please let me know down in the comments if you had any videos that you thought would be really helpful. And if you um, found this video useful, I'd really appreciate it if you let me know. Thanks again for watching. I really hope to see you in the next video and I'll see you there. Peace.